and planted a crown of thorns on his head and whipped yeah. it mm -hmm. yep. by force. Yeah. And the scripture says in the 13th verse. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. The prophets and the law. Never forget this about the prophets and the law. He's not talking about the Ten Commandments. He's talking about the system of applying the law. And all the way back to the prophets, yeah. all the way up to Jonah, yeah. he says, they prophesied, they preached. No, but the 14 and 15 says, you will receive it. Uh -huh. This is your life, which was for to come. Now, you're going to have to receive it because Jesus was talking to those folks. He said, this is Elijah. That's Elijah. Elias is the Greek for the Hebrew, Elijah. Elijah was called up to heaven. He said, John is just like Elijah. The Bible said he would come in the same power and spirit of Elijah. He had the same anointing and the same characteristics. Elijah had a two enemies, Jezebel and Rahab. Y'all got in there? And John, coming in that same spirit, had a husband and wife team after him named Herod and Solomon. Y'all got in there? That same Jezebel spirit was in John's day. The same Jezebel spirit that came against Elijah, it came against John. And the Bible says, if you can receive this, that was Elijah, John was. 15. He that has ears to hear, let him hear. Now everybody not going to hear what I just said this morning. But if you have spiritual ears to hear what I just told you, and everything that's going your ears, that's true. You shall know the truth. And the truth that you know it will set you free. Amen. But you might have received some things. Amen. That whatever you may happen for God, he'll make happen for you. And Jesus came. The Bible said, neither eat nor, I mean, excuse me, John came neither eat nor drink. Because he was eating wild honey and locusts. And the Bible said, Jesus came eating and drinking. How I many know the Bible? They said, John has a devil. And they said, Jesus is a glutton and a wine filler. I wish y'all knew the Bible. Amen. If they talk about Jesus, they're going to talk about you. Amen. They talk about his messenger, John. They're going to talk about you. John has a devil. He out in the wilderness wearing camel's hair and leather. That was the same kind of clothes Elijah wore. He had on camel's hair and leather. And John is even wild. Of the eating loaves and wild honey. Yeah, not so yeah. old honey, wild honey. Yeah. Yeah. Have big legs and big wings in it. Yeah. Straight from the honey. Yeah. I know about. And here comes Jesus. Jesus loved to eat. He loved to eat. He would go to the cellar houses and eat. And they would put out spreads. Y'all not in here with me. Every time they looked around, Jesus was eating. That's why they said he's a glutton. Y'all know the Bible. Yeah. This man eats all the time. And he loves to drink wine. He even turned his water into wine. Y'all know that here with He won't even drink water. He drank a wine. He should be drinking a water. <laughs> and the Bible said Jesus went about doing good. That's all he did, doing good. But if you can begin to make it happen for God, God will make some things make it happen. Yeah. Yeah. You need something? I dare you to help somebody get something. I dare you. You need a home? I promise you. Help somebody get a home. Amen. I need a home. How can I help somebody get a home? Some of you may have property. Some of you may know people that have problems. Right. Maybe you have influence, you can speak up for somebody. Y'all not in here with me. Yes. Somebody may come to you with whatever. And you're going to have to weigh that in your heart. Is this a God? See, don't ever worry about when somebody comes to you about asking you something. You know what Jesus said? If somebody comes and asks of you, he said, give, not expecting anything back. Amen. See, don't want to hear that scripture. Amen. You're going to rationalize that one. 
And many times God has sent people to you to sow something into their lives. Yes. So that you can have a harvest down the road. Amen. But because you didn't help, help make it happen for somebody, it's not going to happen for you. you. You try to keep somebody from doing something. Yes. And when you try to keep somebody from doing something, something was blocked to keep you from doing, getting something. Amen. So you're going to reap whatever you sow. Right. If you block it, you're going to get blocked. If you make your ways and bless it, yes. ways will be made, yes. and you'll be blessed. How many ready to put it in principle right now? Come on, you ready to put it in principle? Whatever you may happen with God, God said, David, I'm going to make you a house. I know you want to build me one, but I'm going to promise you, I'm going to make you one. And the house of David stands today. And the Bible said, Jesus Christ came down through the house of David. So the house of David is eternal because as long as Christ is alive, how I many you know he lives forevermore? Yes, yes, yes. David's house will continue because Jesus was born in the lineage of David. Yes, yes, yes. All over this place. Yes, yes. As we stand up. You that have ears to hear, I want you to hear what the Spirit is saying this morning. Begin to make things happen. Even if it's a concoction, something that you have all of. Sometimes people say, I wonder if that's me, if that's the, the Lord saying it, or is that the devil? If you have peace about a thing, peace is always a sign that God. You have to have some peace in your spirit. You can't be on having fear and doubt and wondering if is this, see, double-mindedness, the Bible says, that man will receive nothing of the Lord. Yes. But I speak this morning that you have ears to hear. God is speaking this morning. There are some things God is getting ready to make happen, not only for us as a group, but for you as an individual. Always, always remember, whatever you do for or against or to, you're sowing seed. And that's what you will reap. If you're doing something for, you receive something positive. If you're doing something to somebody, if it's good, good things will happen to you. If you're doing something to somebody and it's bad, God help you. Father, we speak this by faith today. We ask that you bless your people under the sound of your voice. Everyone in this place right now need to turn to some things that's in the past. Live in the moment. Live for now. Now, you're creating your future right now. Because tomorrow, about this time, whatever you did today will manifest itself tomorrow. Help out in here with you. Because see, tomorrow can only be come, come forth by what happens today. And what you're doing today will also be in your past. There may be one that will come forward this morning. This is your opportunity. We'll pray with you, pray for you. You may want to unite. You can come now. If you just come for prayer, come now. Don't you leave here without getting a prayer this morning. We can anoint your ears that you can hear. We can anoint your eyes. Jesus said, anoint what I said. We can anoint your tongue. That was a prophet. The Bible said he had unclean lips. And an angel had to come down and took the, the tongues, the forceps off the altar and grabbed the coal. And he placed the coal on the prophet's tongue to clean his tongue. He said, Lord, I'm a man of unclean lips. And even the angel could not touch the coal. Don't let anybody fool you. There are angels going to hell. They burn just like everybody else. They just don't burn up. We have one that have come. I'm going to pray with him. He told me before service some of the things he's going through. And we're going to pray for you. He said he's coming 
so he can love God more. And I will do right. That's admirable. I'm coming that I love God more and I can do right. You're going to receive that. He has many obstacles. He's been fighting. What you got, brother? He wants the Lord to lead his life instead of him leading himself. Isn't that a good one? Hallelujah. Amen, amen. This sister said, see, now I'm going to tell you what the Bible says about that. God will give seed to the soul. He said, I want to be able to sow seeds. God will give you the seeds. All kinds of seeds. Various types of seed. Time. You give your time. You have clean the church. You nurse the home. You do things. That's some time. You want to be able to give all seeds in every area. You want to be blessed in every area of your life. You're going to begin to make happen what you want to happen for you. You want to be able to start making it happen for somebody else. Oh, okay. Let me ask you this. You need a car, don't you? Okay. All right. Anybody can believe this? We're going to stand with you right now. If my people who will call by my name will humble themselves and pray, seek my faith, turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven. He said, I will forgive their sin, but then he said, I'll heal their land. God's in the stuff too. That's why he promised us mansions, streets of gold, Gates of pearl. And God doesn't need any of the riches. All the cattle of his, all the, the gold, all, even the thousand hills that it's on. In the name of Jesus, receive it by faith. Just by faith. You don't have to run down, get a chill down your back. By faith, receive it in Jesus' name. Brother, by faith, receive it in Jesus' name. Little one, by faith. Receive it in Jesus' name. It's yours to love God for and so you can do better. Some people think it's no matter how you're doing right. But the Bible says, seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added. In the name of Jesus is our prayer. Thank God. Amen. 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 Come on, put your hands together. We're getting ready to go to the We're getting ready to go for the prayer. Hallelujah. Brother Michael, I want to have our song this, this morning. If we get ready to go, I just want to pray. We thank God for all of you, amen. We ask you to be back.